Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing some more winter um, Christmassy inspired nail designs. Um, it's kind of late because Christmas is like literally in I think like a week or a few days. But I still wanted to upload it just because it's good for any last minute nail designs if you wanted to create some press-ons or just do something really last minute for Christmas and needed some ideas. So right here I'm just using my um, extra long coffin nail tips and I'm going to be filing the sides of them. Uh, just so we get that really nice straight shape and then I'm going to be buffing them as well. So now just finishing that up we're going to get started on the designs and I actually wanted to do something really different this time. Um, I was trying to think of stuff that could be really really cute and different so I'm starting off with this color from iGel Beauty called Honeydew um, it is a really really beautiful pale um, kind of pistachio green so I love that color and then I was thinking of topping it with some sort of like really fine glitter it's something that I really like to do when it takes the color to a whole nother level so I was thinking of using this one called Shimmering Snow but then I was thinking of using this other gold one um, and I think I ended up either mixing both or going in with only one of them. So I'm not sure but I'll let you guys know. Um, but the other one is this. It's a top coat and glitter in one. Um, it's really, it's kind of gold and it's really, really pretty. So I'm going to start off with this first finger right here and we're going to go in with the honeydew color. So I ended up going in with this one called um, Shiny Gel and it's just the gold um, glitter and top coat in one. So I'm going with that, I'm going in with that over the um, green color and then we're going to get started on drawing this cute little gnome that I found on Pinterest. Um, I don't remember who it came from. I don't even think it said who was the original creator, but I did make it my own. I chose my own background color and I basically just changed it up completely and kind of made it uh, whatever I wanted. But if I find the original creator, I'm for sure going to tag them um, in my description bar. Or if you know who originally created this design, feel free to comment it down below as well. So right here, I'm just taking this bluish gray color, um, a really pinky nude and a white. And I'm going to start off trying to draw a little beard for the winter gnome. Um, kind of just going in random little sh lines and strokes down the nail. Um, basically making it super, super simple. Uh, you don't need to go in any particular order or anything like that. And I'm just adding some gray in there just to add some definition. Just so you could see that it's like um, so supposed to mimic like hair or like a little beard, you know. So then after this, um, I'm going to go in with a little nose and cover that up. So I noticed that I did kind of mess up on the nose the first time and I kind of wanted to redo it. So I'm just going to clean it off with some um, alcohol and just trying to take it off like as carefully as I can. And then I'm going to go back in with my dotting tool and create the nose lower um, down on top of where the beard would be. Um, kind of like if the nose was kind of sticking out, I guess you could say. Um, I really love these little gnomes. I see them all over Home Goods and they're so cute. I really like love them. I bought one from Home Goods and it's in my house, so I really love it. <laughs> but it's really cute. And um yeah, so that's why I wanted like a more pinky nude just so that the nose can look like a little more pink, I guess you could say. And then I'm going to put this into the lamp to dry. So after the nose is all dry, I'm going to go in with this color from D&D called Ferrari Red. It's like a perfect true really nice red. So I'm going in with this color and I'm going to be going in with a little bit of clear and I'm going to try to mix them together but the outcome wasn't really what I expected. I was trying to get like a matte red 
um i basically wanted just the hat to be matte i don't know what i was thinking at this moment to be honest but um i was just trying to like create something new and the mat the hat did end up coming out red but it just didn't have the look that i really really wanted it to have so you can disregard this and just use a red if you wanted to it's completely fine so um yeah i'm gonna go in with the red and then after this i'm gonna um add some details on the hat So now taking some white gel polish and my little darting tool, I'm just going to draw the little Santa hat. Um, if you wanted to make this less Christmassy, you definitely 100% could. Um, you could literally do like a little cream colored hat or like a beige color. That'd be really cute. Um, or if you don't want to do a hat at all, you can do like a little beanie or basically you can just do whatever you want, whatever you think would look cute. So I'm just going to make the little white fluffy things on the bottom of the hat and then I'm using that. Um, I'm doing that with my little dotting tool as well um, and so far he looks so cute I really really love how it's coming out right now um, and I just wanted to say like please disregard my nails they're so 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 ugly and disgusting so I'm so sorry about that but um, yeah so right here I this is basically what I wanted to do is like take some of the glossy red and kind of add like a highlight like that which looks so cute um, but yeah that's kind of what I was trying to do and then add more gray into the little beard area just trying to add more detail so after you dry that in the lamp um i'm gonna go ahead and take my skinny little um paintbrush and i'm just gonna go in and draw some little snowflake stars type things so i was doing it and then i kind of messed up so I can't, I think I come back right now and I literally take it off with some acetone. I'm not sure. Yeah, so like I was doing it and it was coming out good and then I kind of messed it up. And now looking back on this video, I definitely can see how I could have fixed it. But it wasn't, it wasn't a too big of a mistake. But I don't know. I just, once I mess something up, I'm literally crazy and I'll just take it off and just start over. Because <laughs> I get really frustrated. Um... Leave a comment down below if you're like that too, but I really am. Um, so yeah, so I'm just drawing little thin lines and I noticed that to get these little stars really, really nice, um, you have to make like your own kind of brush. I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can buy a brush this thin, but I make mine myself by just buying a normal um, painting like gel brush for nails and then I just cut off most of the bristles and kind of make it my own. So right here I'm just drawing like little, these little like spikes or whatever they're called, like sticking out of the snowflake. And this, to do this you have to be really, really, really precise. And it was like kind of hard to be honest. So if you wanted to do something um, as an alternative, you can just get a dotting tool and draw little dots um, going all across those lines as well. And that would look really, really cute. So after that's done drying, um, I'm going to get started on the next one. And this is what it came out like. It's so, so cute. I love it. So um, right here, I'm just going in with the same Ferrari red that I used earlier. And I think for this nail, I kind of wanted to do like a little snowman type of like sweater nail design. This one I completely freestyled. Like I didn't even know what I was going to do. But I know that I wanted this one to be red um, for sure. So um, I'm just going in with the red and then I'm going to put it to dry. 
So then once that nail's all dried up, um, I'm going to go in with my white gel polish and I'm just going to be drawing like little globs and then I'm going to be fixing them with my really round dotting tool right here. So um, this is going to be like the snowman's head and then I'm going to do the body after this um, again with the same white. So next, once we're done with that and it's all dried up, um, I'm going to be going in and drawing the little eyes and the little mouth. Um, I do think that this one came out cute, but I think I mess it up a few times and I go back and literally take it off and then redo it a few times for sure. So I think right here, what I messed up on is I tried to draw a little nose. Yeah, while the black wasn't even dry yet. I didn't dry the black yet and then I drew the nose on there and then I think I regretted it after. Even though it looks cute, I think the eye and the nose started bleeding together. So that really got me mad. Yeah, it like started bleeding so the black was bleeding into the orange. So I cleaned it off with some um, acetone or alcohol, you can use whatever you want. And then um, I go back in again and try to fix it. So yeah, I definitely made a lot of mistakes with these nails lots and lots of times. Um, but it's okay. We're all human and we all make mistakes. So right here, then on this part, I literally messed up the mouth. So then I was like, okay, now I'm going to clean it again and start over. So yeah, eventually I'll get it. <laughs> So once I finally got it the way I wanted, I just drew a little nose um, with some orange gel polish and then I'm going in with a little hat. So I'm just going to go in with my black and still using my dotting tool. I'm not using a brush or anything like that, but you could use whatever you like. Um, I'm just going to draw the little rim of the hat and I'm just going to draw a little square and then fill it all in with black gel polish. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that to dry. So once that's all dry, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this really, really pretty dark burgundy maroon um, color. This color actually has like a little bit of glitter. Um, I purchased this color in, and I showed it in one of my past haul videos here on YouTube. So um, if you wanted to check that out, it's I'll leave the link down below for that as well. Um, and then I went in with some red and I think I tried to draw like some little, I don't know what they're called. I don't know if they're cranberries or... Like little berries basically. I know you guys know what I'm talking about but I don't know what they're called. So I have them. I drew them right there on the little hat and then the scarf is so cute too. Um, and then I think I try to add some leaves. I'm not sure. So then I'm going to be doing this kind of sideways little candy cane thing. Um, I wasn't really sure what I was doing to be honest, but I grabbed my super long brush and I just started going in and drawing some white lines um, going at an angle. Um, yeah, so I was kind of doing this and then I think I try to make this into a sweater design and then it doesn't work out because I feel like when you're doing like a sweater type of nail, it looks best when the, when, or it, I guess you could say the gel polish goes on smoother when you have a matte base underneath and I didn't matte out the nail before I started painting this on. So I kind of regretted it and I was like, okay, I don't think this is going to be able to be a sweater design. But I still tried to make it a sweater design, if that makes sense. So this is so cute already. Um, and then I go in and add more details um, with my dotting tool. So right here I'm just adding the last and final details with my dotting tool. Um, I'm just going in and adding some little dots at the end here and I feel like that really added to it. It looked really cute. And then I'm going to take some all just plain clear acrylic powder. I think here I'm just using the Mia Secret Clear and I try to make it like a little sweater nail. So um, I'm just going over and just dumping it all over. Um, just dump it with like a little thing like a cuticle pusher like I'm doing here. Um, if you try to dip the nail into the acrylic powder itself, 
it will damage your design and your design will get smeared and stuff so just be aware of that and then after this you can leave the powder on there you don't have to dust it or anything and then leave it um, in the lamp to dry so once that's all dry I just dusted it off with a little brush and then um, as you could see the design didn't really turn out like a sweater design and I think it's literally because I didn't have the mat underneath that really does make such a huge difference if you don't mat out the nail you're not gonna get that sweater effect in my opinion um but you can see it here like it didn't even come out like a sweater so that's perfectly fine and um, I'm just gonna go in with the black gel polish for this middle finger right here and put it into dry so for this um, middle nail I painted it black because I kind of wanted to do it like a cute little penguin um, I just really really wanted to do like more of a winter theme for this one um, so right here I'm just going in with my white dotting tool and oh sorry my white polish and my dotting tool and I'm just gonna draw some little eyes um, it was kind of hard to do like the eyes perfectly symmetrical on both sides I find that that's something I really struggle with when I'm painting or drawing and stuff like that so I'm just trying my best here to round them out and make them kind of cute so I kind of want them tilted and like an angle as you could see they're not just standing straight up I kind of wanted it that I wanted it like that on purpose so that it looks um like more of a cute face I guess you could say and then with my white gel polish I'm just going in with the brush that it comes with and I'm gonna be rounding out the little stomach area and I think I make it a little bit bigger because I noticed that it's a little bit too small So right here, I'm just going to go in with my red again. Um, you can't really see it that much on top of the black background, but I kind of wanted to draw like a little Christmas hat with it again. Um, you could 1000% leave it without this. Um, if I wasn't going to put the hat, I would just make the eyes a little bit bigger so it could take up more surface on the nail. Um, so that's just a little tip, but yeah. So right here I'm going to start adding the details. I'm just going to go in with black and my dotting tool and I'm going to draw the little circles of the eyeballs. Um, and then I'm going to get some yellow gel polish and I'm going to draw the little feet on the penguin. Um, I kind of just take the brush that it comes with and kind of just draw two little, literally just little globs. And it looks like feet. It's super cute, super easy. Um, so I absolutely loved this design. And then going in with some white for the little hat. Um, and then put it into dry. So I also ended up going in with the yellow and drawing this cute little nose on the penguin and it really added to it. I think it's so so cute. Um, and then I ended up taking um, some of these little beads that I just had. They're basically little super cheap quality rhinestones that I've had for a while since I started doing nails. And I never used them and I found the perfect opportunity to get to use them today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to actually do a really cool little, I guess you could say like light what are they called string light nail Christmas light nail so I'm going in with white um, on the whole nail and then I'm gonna be going in with the details right after this okay so once the white nail is all dry I'm just gonna go in and start on the little Christmas string lights so I did it using black but you could use pretty much any color you would like I know I've seen this design um, in different um, a lot of different people's styles so uh, I've seen people do like green for like the Christmas light string um, and yeah you can basically do whatever you want so I'm just using black and I'm just trying to make it so that the strings kind of like twirling all around the nail um, basically making it look really as natural as I possibly can um, this would have been really really cute if the background was like a light pink too but that's just me I just like um, when things are really fun and different but I just thought that the white really made it um, stand out a little bit more 
So yeah, you could have definitely made, you can definitely make the background like light blue or light pink, um, just so that it could stand out. So yeah. So now I'm going to be going in with my Zule's Nail Shop Bling Adhesive. This is what I use for every single rhinestone, charm, um, anything that I have to adhere to the nails, this is what I use. Um, so I'm just grabbing the little different colored rhinestones that I have and I'm just adding them all over the nails um, in random order. Uh, just so it looks really natural like a bunch of different Christmas lights. And I really love it. It's so cute. Um... I just thought of this idea off the top of my head when I when I saw these uh, crystals in my drawer. I was just like, this would be so cute for this and I never get to use them for anything. So yeah, it's perfect. And this is what I ended up looking like. And then I'm just going to let it dry a little bit. And I usually dry my bling adhesive with the Hurry Up Nail Glue Dryer. You can buy it on Amazon. So after this, I'm going to be going in with some greens. Um, this is one option. It's Glendale from iGel Beauty. And I'm just putting it right here. I'm using my little ruler as like a paint board because it's just so easy to just wipe off. Um, and right here, I was showing you guys like those little crystals that I end up using um, that I said I had for a while. So then I'm going in with a, this darker green right here. It's more of an olive. And then I'm mixing an even darker for a forest green. So I'm kind of just have three different greens as an option because I'm going to be doing this really really cute kind of present nail I guess you could say so right there it was just a I showed a really nice uh, dark nude um, which is what I'm gonna be using for the base of the nail and again all the colors um, the name of all the colors is gonna be in the description box below um, but yeah so I'm painting this color here so right here I'm just going in with my um, striping brush and then I'm just going to go in with my white gel polish and I'm going to be going all down the nail. Um, this I purposely didn't want the line to be too too perfect. Um, I realized this later on as I was making the lines. Um, you can see right there I really messed up and I kind of wanted it to look like that. I wanted it to look really really natural. Um, there's this thing that people wrap presents with sometimes. It's not ribbon. It's not string i don't know what it is but it's kind of like a hay material i don't know what it's called at all maybe burlap is that what it's called i don't know what it's called but it's basically really really just stringy and it looks really cute and natural if you add like some leaves on it and stuff i know i've seen this on some people's instagram stories um but i have no idea what it's called so yeah this snail was also just a freestyle so right here i kind of wanted to just add a little candy cane um kind of just going down the nail I guess you could say um I wanted it to look like it was being wrapped in like on top of a Christmas present basically so I don't know how to explain it but you guys are gonna see it's really gonna come together in the end um I was kind of having some trouble here so yeah I was just trying to make it as cute as possible and I kind of wanted it at an angle um so I'm starting off with the white and then I'm gonna add the right details the red details afterwards So once that's all dried, I'm going to be going in with those three greens that I mixed up earlier. And I'm kind of going to kind of um, try to overlap it on top of the candy cane and make it look like it's all wrapped up together on top of a present. Um, so I'm kind of just going in and making like these little leaf shapes. They do not have to be perfect at all because I think I go back in and add some details with uh, white gel polish. But yeah, so I'm basically just going in and drawing like little leaf looking things. And I think I draw like three three of them I think this is called holly is this called holly please let me know down below I have no idea what this is called all I know is like I have a picture in my head that I'm thinking of and I just don't know what it's called but yeah so I put that into dry So 
So right here I got it a little out of frame but I'm going to fix it in a second. Um, I'm just going in with a little bit of a light green gel polish um, and going in and just adding some little random details all over the leaf. It's kind of adding like a little bit of highlight I guess you could say. Um, and then I go back in with dark green because I added a little bit too much of the light green and I wanted it to look more um, basically like a really nice dark forest green. So then I'm going to add some white with my white gel polish after this. And it's just going to really bring the whole look together. I feel like adding detail is super, super important. Um, and you can most definitely leave it like this. But just taking the extra step really, really just makes your painting or your artwork just look so much more realistic and really, really beautiful. So right here, I'm going to go in and just draw the little, like, kind of like, I guess you could say just random lines in, like, the shape of a leaf um, all over the three little um leaves and then yeah it just really adds a lot to the nail and i really love it and then right here i'm going back in with my red and just adding some red lines all around um kind of next to this li these little white lines that I had made earlier I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more I wanted to add a little bit more red in there um and yeah at this point I really love how it looks it's really really cute So while I'm finishing this up here, I just wanted to come in and say that I'm so, so grateful for you guys. And those of you that always show me consistent love and support in all my videos. Um, I literally have read comments one time and I literally started crying because you guys are so sweet. Like, I literally can't believe it. Like, you guys don't even know me and you guys are just so supportive and so sweet every single time. Like, I just, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And thank you so much for all the support. Um, right here, I'm just going in with some red rhinestones. These aren't Swarovski or anything. They're just normal um, little rhinestones. And I'm kind of adding them on top here. Um, kind of going back to like the berries on the snowman's little hat. Kind of like giving that same type of vibe. Um, and I love how it looks. It's just added, of course, again, something extra to the nail. Uh, just adding those three little rhinestones really made it pop. And I really love the outcome. And then after this, I'm just going to go ahead and go in and top coat the nails. Um, with my eye gel beauty no cleanse top coat Um, right here, I just wanted to say that even though I did do the sweater nail on that other hand, I just wanted to go over it with gel. I just liked how it looked shiny so much better. And right here, I am going over the rhinestones. Um, I don't really mind going over the rhinestones, to be honest, when it's just little tiny, tiny rhinestones like this. Um, and especially because these were already just normal plastic rhinestones. I think I had got these from AliExpress, like, over a year ago for sure. So, yeah, right here, I'm just going over and, um top coating every single nail and I f literally freaking hate when little pieces of lint and fuzz from like my shirt get it on the gel polish like that is my number one pet peeve and I literally like I can't avoid it like there's nothing I can do like I don't even know how it gets on there and it literally just gets me so mad like oh it's so 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 frustrating but um I really love how they ended up looking in the end and then I'm just leaving these to dry for I think I put 60 seconds two times just because the gel is really, really thick. So, yeah.
So after they're done, this is what they ended up looking like all together. I am so in love with them. They're so cute and I'm really, really happy with the outcome to be honest. Like I completely just freestyled this and I think they're really cute. So you have an idea for either a little accent nail on a full set or on press on nails and I really hope you guys got some inspo from this. I hope you guys liked the video. Feel free to let me know what you think and please, please, please let me know what you would like to see because I'll definitely film it for you. Um, bye and have a great day.